Winter is just the worst. <laughs> Gals, thank goodness I found you. A sailing ship was caught up in a really bad storm and got blown off course somewhere in the far north. <laughs> this is Marcel, my homing pigeon. I sent him out with the ship. He arrived back this morning with the captain's note wrapped around his leg. Upon further investigation, I discovered that half the note is missing, so you'll need to do some extra sleuthing to get to the bottom of this mystery, gals. To help you find them, I've enlisted the help of my friend, Pitsiola Ashuna. She is a fearless hunter who lives near the last place the boat was last seen, off the coast of Kike Teluk, also known as Baffin Island. Pitsiolak has lived there her whole life and knows the land like the back of her hand. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. Good luck. It's really cold up there. Stay warm, gals. To the balloon. And fast. Over there, Flo. Something's glowing. You must be Mary and Flo. It's so good to meet you both. I am Pitsiolak Ashuna. We're glad to meet you, and so grateful that you can help us find the lost ship and its crew. It's my pleasure. When Officer K told me you were coming, I got to work making you both hooded parkas. They are called atiki, pants, sealskin boots, and mitts. It is customary to do this for our guests. These will help keep you warm on our journey. Wow. Thanks, Pitsiolik. That's very kind of you. Gosh, I thought it was chilly in Toronto, but it's positively cold as ice cream up here. These drawings are beautiful. I've never seen anything quite like them. Who drew them? I did. I like to capture my memories of the places and animals I see during my travels of this coast. It's my way of saving the views for later. Speaking of the coast, let's look at the note the captain sent. We gotta find that ship. Okay, this says one of the last things the crew saw before they were stuck in the ice was a jagged person doing jumping jacks? That doesn't sound to me like something you'd see around here. Well, up here, when a storm gets really bad, it can play tricks with your eyes and brain. You think you are seeing one thing, but it's really something else altogether. Maybe my book of drawings can help. This rock formation is called an Inukshuk. They are shaped like human beings and mark spots for people to meet. Imagine seeing that through a storm. If you squint your eyes like this, it looks like... A, a jagged, jagged person who's doing, doing jumping, jumping jacks. jacks! This has to be what the sailors saw. And I know exactly where it is. To the sled! Oh, the view from this sled sure is beautiful, huh, Mary? It really is. Maybe I could get used to this kind of weather after all. Hang on. Whoa. Uh. Oh no. Don't worry. Besides learning hunting and tracking, very early in my life, I was taught how to make and mend my clothing. A few broken straps won't stop me. Just hook that end on the dog collar, and the other right along here. Like this? Look at me, Mary, hooking dogs up to a sled in the Arctic. Good work, ladies. There! Here you go, gals. The captain could have seen this Inungwok from the boat. But since all the water is now frozen, it must have come here some time ago. What's the next thing the sailors saw, Mary? A water unicorn with no ears. A water unicorn? With no ears. But this is a little too far north for a unicorn. Hmm. A unicorn is like a horse and it has one horn. If it has no ears and if it was in the water... A narwhal! What's a narwhal? Narwhals are arctic whales that live underneath the ice. But whales need air to breathe. How could they live under the ice? Narwhals use holes in the ice to come up for air. Is there a hole like that nearby? There is a hole like that a ways up the coast. To the sled! Oh. 
Well, never in my life did I think I'd see narwhals looking like they were slow dancing. What a day! Flo, look at that one poking his horn through the ice. It just caught something on its horn. I'm getting closer. Please excuse me, but do you think I might get that piece of paper? Gals, this is the missing part of the note. It fits perfectly. Marcel the pigeon must have stopped here for a break and it got caught in the ice. The last thing they saw was three very large ice turtles? Hmm, I know what that might be. Igloos are made of large blocks that are cut from the snow and stacked on top of one another to make a dome-shaped house. These square blocks can look like the, the back, back of a of turtle, a turtle shell. shell. I know where they might be. Follow me. <laughs> How do you stay warm in a house made of ice? If you heated it, wouldn't it melt? It's so cold outside that as soon as any part of it melts, it freezes again from the outside in. Oh, sweet science. There you go. There you go. <gasps> there! There they are! <laughs> Well, thanks to you ladies, the crew is saved. And lucky for us, their cargo was hot cocoa powder. Mmm. Honestly, I didn't know that winter could be so enjoyable. Well, I didn't know the north was so beautiful. I'd love to come back here for a vacation. What do you say, Mary? What a great idea. Thanks to Pitsyolak, we have the perfect clothes for our trip home and our trip back. When you come back, I'll have many more drawings to show you. Sharing my beautiful land through pictures is my way of helping people understand our way of life. I cannot wait to come back and see them all. Till next time, gals. <laughs> and Marcel. <laughs> <laughs>